On this week's tip of the week, we're gonna be going through the essential tools for a paver project. We've broken into three different categories. The first category is gonna be excavation. The second category is going to be grading and screeding. And the third category is gonna be installing the pavers. So let's jump into it. The excavation process can have many different tools involved in that process. But some of the most essential tools are gonna to be your shovels, your rakes, your wheelbarrows. Please rent machinery, whether it's excavator or skid steer, when you can, if it's possible. We also recommend some kind of an altimeter or a laser system. And finally, and the most important, is gonna be the Weber compaction equipment. Again, this one here is a CR5. We'd probably rather see you in the CR3, CR2, uh, if you're getting into it. So those are the tools that we highly recommend having for that excavation process. So when it comes to the process of grading and screeding, there's a couple essential tools in doing so. We're gonna recommend a level. So whether you use a two foot, four foot, six foot, we do have some nice aluminum levels that are adjustable. Check out some of those videos on our YouTube channel on those. Our screeder package, so you're not on your hands and knees screeding or using a two by four that's bent. And then we recommend screed rails, which you can get just one inch pipe at Home Depot or in your hardware stores. And that's what you're gonna use for screeding. So let's jump into the next section. In the past, laying the pavers has been really a backbreaking uh, part of the project. We've obviously created and invented a lot of products to take that hard out of hardscaping. Either way, some of the essential tools for installing the pavers are within our tool organizer. And a couple of those tools are a square for squaring up the pavers, string lines, chalk lines, tape measures, smaller squares, hammers, chisels, all sorts of tools are within this tool organizer. Check out pavetool.com to get that full list of tools that are included. It also comes with the Sim 60 as well, which is a great hammer, um, fully replaceable. Recently did a video on the hammers, so go and check that out. And the last thing for installing pavers is some kind of a cutoff saw. You can see here we have a DeWalt cutoff saw. There's still Husqvarna, many other cutoff saws. When cutting dry, we do recommend some kind of a dust collection option. IQ362 is a great option for this. It's a table saw, so it makes cutting product very simple and easy. The last essential in a hardscape project is gonna be your edge restraint. It is extremely important to put in the proper edge restraint to hold those pavers in for a long lasting project. We feel that we have the best edge restraint on the market for holding in those pavers, but please do your research and figure out exactly what is the best edge restraint for you guys on your projects. If you want to hear what other contractors have to say about our edge restraint, please check out the video that's on the screen. Thanks for watching this week's tip of the week. I hope you found a couple gold nuggets to pull out of this video for it to be valuable to you guys. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave a comment, call us at our main number, or write us an email. We love to hear your comments and the information you have to say. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and pavetool.com. Thanks again.